Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Joshy Bear, and we are playing the Minecraft. That's right. If you couldn't tell, we're playing Minecraft. <laughs> anyway, hope everybody's having a wonderful week so far. It is Tuesday, which means it is time for us to gallivant around the Torchcraft Vanilla Survival server. And we have ambitious plans for this fifth episode. Five episodes! Five! <laughs> That's right. Uh, we uh, we left off the last one with, uh, with our shop, and we kind of took it easy in the last episode. I mean... It was a longer episode, but that's because I can't remember how I built things that I've already built. But this episode, we're going to get down, we're going to get dirty, and we're going to do some real work. We left off the last episode talking about we needed to do some farming, and I showed you the uh, skeleton spawner that we found over by over by the, uh, the crop farms. That's what we're doing today. Yeah, we're building a skelly spawner. We are going to build it. And we are going to like it because I'm going to try my best to make it look good. I'm going to try my best. No guarantees. But we're going we're gonna to make this pretty cool. Um, even if we're the only ones using it. We do have other skeleton spawners on the server. People have their own. But it's always nice to have that resource for yourself. Like we have the big crop farms and then we also have the community farms that spawn. I don't have to run the spawn every time I need wheat. You know, I, I, I need to have wheat at my house, too. This is where my animals are. This is where my things are. We should be doing that. Now, if we need bone meal and stuff, we can go to those other ones. But it'd be nice to walk out our back door. And I'm pressing the wrong buttons. It'd be nice to run out our back door and just be able to uh, say, Hey, you know what? I need some bone meal. Let's just go over to the skelly spawner. That's right. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to put my armor on because I don't know how close it is to nighttime or not. I really haven't been paying attention. But um, no major plans yet. Uh, I don't exactly know exactly... I don't exactly know exactly how I'm going to exact this. <laughs> wow, the words are in the way already today. Um, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to go about the design inside... But I do know that we're going to be clearing out a much larger area than what we need for the spawner because we're going to build ourselves a nice little enclosure and then some room around it in order to, uh, you know, make it a nice place to stay. I mean, we, we spent all that time on the squid farm uh, to, to make it nice inside, so at least it was pretty to look at. We might as well do that here, too. And um, it'll also give us some room for uh, storage because we're going to want a sorting system in there probably I would imagine I mean that would be a good thing and look at how that glass anyway so uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get myself prepared and we're going to go down and we're going to assess our situation because honestly I haven't I, I've been down long enough to loot the chests and I don't think I even grabbed everything so uh, we'll uh, we'll get ready we'll get down there and we'll see what we've got Okay, so I got a little carried away and got started here, uh, but uh, basically just digging the area out. I haven't put anything in place, and the chests are still just sitting there um, for uh, from the dungeon, but I'm just trying to scout out where everything is. I know that the ocean is this way, and uh, I'm starting to dig in this direction, because I think this is probably, this is actually getting closer to um, the farms. And I think uh, that's going to give us plenty of space to work with as far as uh, like a little AFK room, storage, um, having a spot for the skeletons to actually come in and whatnot. Uh, the decisions now are both the cosmetic decisions, which we'll, we'll get to. That, that we'll get to. But uh, how we want to transport the skeletons, how we want to kill or soften the skeletons, and what we want to do with the drops. Um, and I think I've already got that decided. I don't necessarily need this as an XP farm so I'm not going to worry about whether or not I get XP so I'm going to use a lava based uh, a lava based system instead of fall damage uh, the fall damage is going to actually it's going to take it above ground and out and I really don't know that I want anything sticking out 
uh, above the ground other than some kind of building or structure that lets people know that there's something there. Uh, but it, I've tried to bring mobs up from a spawner this close to the surface before and the tubes just they kind of look ugly so i'm probably just going to transport them do a, do a small mob elevator into a chamber and i may actually do try to do um both a lava and a crusher uh, it just depends on how much space i have how much ambition i have after i get everything all done but this you know the prep work for this is not the hard part. It's really getting everything wired in and ready to go. So what we'll probably do is we'll get some area dug out here. We'll probably get started on the actual uh, spawning area and collection point. And then we'll worry about um, making room for AFK and everything else. Now, if I'm standing here, see that's still, that's still going. Okay, good. Um, so I'm going to get to dig in, get, uh, get the area cleared out a little bit more, and we will talk about how we want, how we want everything to work. Sound good? Okay, I'll be back. All right, so I've come to my base, and, um, it appears that, uh, I've been entered into the prank war. Oh my. Who is up? Well, at least she left me something. Let's see what she left. <laughs> okay. <laughs> A little smiley face. Well, Wally. That is, uh, that's wonderful. Watch your back. Well, I thought I'd take a quick break from working just to show you what I've got so far. Um, not a whole lot to say about it other than I'm using glass for the walls and then using half slabs on the bottom half of the blocks around that so that way no light gets through and we can still see inside. Um, water streams, of course, running from the sides to the middle. That's that's the design I always go to for these kind of farms. Uh, you could do it just water streams from the back to a channel in the front. I like to do it this way, just the way I'm comfortable doing it. Uh, what we'll probably do is extend these channels all the way back over here, even behind this wall. We'll bring the skeletons up there, and then we'll have to bring them back down somewhere in this area. Uh, I might have them a little farther back than that. It just depends on what I feel like but the spawner even right here is still active so if we're I think we need to be like somewhere around in here to AFK we should be okay and in fact this floor will come down because we want to be able to see all of that so I'm gonna start to do that uh, get the rest of these walls up and hopefully start to see some skeletons get in here and spawn and uh, I don't know float into a hole where we'll figure out what to do with them next. Okay, so as you can see in front of me, I've got everything in place, and even with torches all around, it is still dark in there, which is good. But you can hear behind me, I've got everything that I want there in place. Now, I had to, had to think about that a second, because I was going to bring them straight down, and I was like, wait a second, I want this to be like just a they fall into a lava blade and everything just kind of get collected down here. And I remembered that this is exactly where my stream is, so putting it right there wasn't going to be the best spot, so I decided to move it over here, and actually that's that should work out okay. Dug out some space for a wall, I've even let you see them come up the mob evader, and they'll come and they'll drop in there. Let's see if we can see this guy come in, yeah, there he goes, he drops in. And then he comes down here. They take a little bit of fall damage. I don't, I'm not worried about it. It's not an XP farm. How many do I have collected in there now? Ooh, I might want to do something about that here soon. So let's go ahead and just break that piece out and just start killing these guys here a little bit. But, uh, looks like everything's working. Now I just got to figure out, uh, well, I don't have to figure out. I know how I'm going to soften them, and it's going to be basically just a bucket of lava there with a sign for now and then uh, get the uh, 
I do need to get uh, the collection system at least somewhat in place. That shouldn't be a problem. We've got plenty of iron and uh, sorting the items isn't a big deal. So uh, I am going to take care of these guys first so that way uh, I can work and then uh, we'll get the rest of that stuff in place. No, I didn't build myself a chicken farm inside the squid farm. Um, I think I'm the target of the last couple days for all the pranks. First it was lolly with all the sand, and now it's sand with a bunch of chickens. Yes, I was AFK at the squid farm trying to build up some ink sacks. And, um... I was standing right about here in a cobblestone hidey hole. And all of these chickens, when I came back, they were all standing at my feet in this one block area. All of them. Yeah. <laughs> the good news is, is we now have plenty of eggs <laughs> to make our chicken farm. And just to read the note that was left for us. Heard you needed feathers, so I got you some. Enjoy. Sandman. He heard our call about all the feathers we needed for the books we needed to make for our fortune booth. And, uh... You know what? He's probably helped out more than he knows. <laughs> so, uh, thanks, Sand. Alright. Now time to take care of these chickens. Who's first? You? All right, like many of you, I've built some mob farms. I've done this before. And sometimes they can get very old and very stale. Just because you've done them, you get used to doing them a certain way. And, uh, you know, after the fifth, sixth, tenth, twentieth time you've done it, it gets a little old. But I gotta tell you, this one, even though that a lot of the mechanics that I used here they're the same kind of mechanics. I actually enjoyed making this one because it's really turned out... It's turned out pretty good. I, I really like how this one has turned out. And I like the fact that it's gone up fairly quickly. And it's actually functional fairly quickly. That's right. It is fully functional at this point. We have a chest for storage. And we have a button to kill him. You guys like that? Do you like that? Huh? Take that, skellies. All of you die. Okay, well, most of you die. <laughs> but as you can see, and I've I've done a, a few tests of this already, just to make sure that yes. They're dying. Yes, the ones that I expect to live through it are living through it. But uh, overall, it's going to be a pretty good farm for us. I don't expect uh, a lot of people to be here using it. But then again, it's actually... i got to say, it, it fills up pretty quickly. And if you're just kind of doing stuff and you're not thinking about it, uh, you're going to have a lot of skeletons in there. I know that uh, when I first had the tube up and I was just kind of making sure that I had enough space for everything, even digging digging that area out and cleaning up some of the wall space. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I, had, <laughs> I had quite a few skeletons in there, so uh, it's, uh, it's gonna be productive for us, which is, which is good, which is very, very good. So um, next, we have to figure out storage, and we do have storage, sure, but uh, we want it to be nice and organized and do the things that it wants to do. Now, the one thing that I'm not... I'm not seeing out of this farm is I'm not getting any bows and I'm not getting any armor. And I, I think that... Although I... Well, those that actually came from when I was actually killing them. Killing them. Uh, I, I had to clear it out once. But I think that's because I'm not actually killing them. So I may not have to sort any bows or armor out. So this could be a pretty easy sorting system. Hmm. That makes this a lot easier. So, we really just need to worry about bones and arrows, it looks like. 
that shouldn't be a big deal. And I'm thinking we could probably put all of that right along this wall. Just over here. That should be more than enough space. We could just, yeah. Just do a few rows of chests there. I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Alright, so I'm going to get started on that. And uh, when I get that finished, we'll start talking about how this thing's going to look in the end. And how much decoration we actually get done. Now here's an interesting shot to come back to. Three chests lined up with lights over top of them. And that can only mean one thing. That means I've got the item storage and the item sorter and the item transport in place. But you also notice there's a few extra colors here. Yeah? That's because I've been busy. <laughs> what do you think? I'm not I'm not 100% uh, sold on it. But uh, if everybody else likes it, I think we'll, we'll continue with it. It's not bad. It's, it's not great, but it's not bad. So uh, I'm not going to fuss too much over it. Uh, yeah, my chests are over here and not over there. Um, if we come back here, you'll see all the water dripping from the ceiling. Uh, the ocean is literally right there. And uh, it was it was getting way too way too tedious to deal with it and dig out enough space and to, to make this all work the way I wanted it to. Uh, it just for some reason I just wasn't it just wasn't working for me. And as soon as I decided that I wanted to put it on the other side, I had no problem getting it in. As you can see, this is, and it's your basic item storage and sorting, so nothing, nothing incredibly complicated here. But it just, it just went in so much, so much more easily than what I was doing. And I did try to put it in over there. I actually had most of it in, and I was just, I was running out of space. I was like, ah, I need space there, so I'd cut some more out and have to swim up and place a block and swim up, place a block, cut out some sand, place a block. It, it was just, oh. What was it ever a hassle? But uh, on that note, the skeleton farm is, I would say, two thirds done. The other, the other third is the decoration and uh, the entrance. Now, for right, for right now, we have a ladder coming down, and I think I'm going to put this project away just for a little bit, and maybe uh, show you the update in the next episode. But uh, we've, uh, we've spent enough time time here. There's a few things that we've got to do yet in this episode. One of which is uh, sorting out some of uh, some some uh, product for our shops. And um, I've got an idea. So I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go collect what I need for that idea, and uh, we'll come back. Okay. So we probably recognize this place from the last episode. It is our fortune booth. And I'll tell you what. I felt kind of bad because over the last week or so this place has been empty like everybody came and bought all the books so I was thinking well how do I restock the shop and still you know not uh, w without having the feathers that I need and then I realized I have a chest and a half full of enchanted books that uh, most of them I probably won't ever use so here's what I've done for a limited time only, you can <laughs> buy a, uh, an actual enchanted book and uh, get get something of value out of the whole uh, enchant or fortune fortune booth. Now, uh, Wellard did actually put a few books in here um, a few days ago, I do believe, and he was telling me the other day that he'd put a few in there. So I appreciate that, man. You didn't have to do that. But uh, from here on out, uh, it's going to be a mixture. It's almost going to be like a uh, like a gambling machine. <laughs> Either you're going to get an enchanted book or you're going to get something terribly written by yours truly. And uh, we've had a couple people put some iron in there. I think Willard was one of, was one of them. So people understanding and uh, getting excited about what their fortune may bring. So before we go this week, I wanted to take one last look at the inside part of the skeleton farm, the design part of it. And I like this a lot better. It's not it's not 
sitting right with me yet, but it's definitely a lot better in my mind, at least. I got some comments that also confirm that it is a lot better, so I feel I feel good about it. Um, still, still missing a little bit, but we'll we'll figure that out as we go. And in fact, uh, Shadow during my live stream decided he was just going to block everything off with with leaf blocks, and actually, I think those might fit in somewhere in the whole decoration of of this place so i might have to try to work that in that could be part of what it's missing of course we still need a proper entrance and and finish up the ceiling and whatnot so we'll, we'll be getting to that and, and and maybe maybe the next episode maybe in between episodes but uh as far as this project goes i have i have got to step away for a while and do some other things because we've got to focus on what we're going to be doing in the next episode and that is going back to the animal farms and getting ourselves one the one animal farm or well one of the animal farms that we don't have <laughs> how perfect timing is that there's just, there just happens to be a chicken right there that's right. We are going to get started on a chicken farm. It's something I wanted to get to in this episode. We just we we took a little bit longer than we thought making <laughs> making the skeleton farm. But uh, we have all nearly, if not all, the eggs that we need. I may even try to gather a few more by uh, just having a uh, makeshift chicken coop to gather some eggs for a couple of days and then uh, get get to work on it. The only uh, the only thing I I need to think about is where exactly why can't I jump over this <laughs> any other time I'd just be running along and be able to jump right over it there we go uh, the one thing I need to decide is do I want it outside or do I want it inside um, all of my farms have been outside at this point and uh, this is a farm that's fully automatic and could be a really good source for us uh, for uh, a food for us inside but it also could benefit people outside as well so I might I might keep it outside and it's gonna in fact if I look at this real quick just so I can get an idea because uh, if we the sugarcane farm is gonna go eventually so are these two because we'll, I mean we're, we'll end up automating all of this um, it might it might do well over here I do have some area over by these farms because this was actually going to be my farming complex and that's what it's turned into I mean I've got if you think about it I've got a skeleton farm over there which is bone meal which is for farming so maybe I can stick the chicken farm over here somewhere clear out some area here maybe by the tree farm or maybe even back here I don't want to go too far back because I still do have this area over here Hmm. I'll, uh, I'll figure that out, but we'll probably end up putting it outside. Uh, but uh, I do have to decide if I want to make myself a chicken coop or not, which I probably will, just so we... Because this is going to be a high-yield chicken farm. I, I want it to... I want to make sure that we're going to have chicken, and we're going to have feathers, because that's really the big thing that we need. I mean, we've got, we've got three different food sources and animals. We've got all of our carrots and all of our potatoes over there food store we can make bread if we need it so we're you know we're not hurting for food it's really those extra things that we need like with the cows you know i i use steak a lot to to for food but we also need a lot of leather i do have the mushrooms so i can use those for uh for mushrooms and things like that so uh, it's really those secondary items that we get from the animals that we need. That's why the pigs are not that important to me at this point, and they're just out there. But we'll figure out something to do with them as well. So next episode, pig farm or pig farm. I, I'm just talking about pigs, chicken farm, and then coming later. And I don't remember if I showed this to you. I think I did show it to you in the last episode. Sometimes they run together. This week has kind of been. Uh, a little a little hectic for me so a lot of what happened last week has kind of left me and i've got to do something about lighting down here i don't know if you've actually seen all of this this is underneath my base and uh we've dug dug out a little bit of this but uh in case i didn't and if i did i'm sorry that we're repeating some content here but yeah you see that don't you i have myself a location for my slime farm and um, those are some of my favorite farms to make and if you've watched any of my single player um, 
you'll know that my slime farm there is it's one chunk and it is absolutely beast mode <laughs> right now <laughs> in fact if you keep watching that you're going to see that uh, a lot of changes need to be made before uh before i can utilize it and and collect everything but um i want to try to do something similar here on uh, on the server and uh, it shouldn't be a big deal we've got some space so we're actually a little higher up on this in this farm so uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, I may use a little different method of collection. I'm also a little smarter about uh, elevating uh, my items to a different location and things like that. So uh, we'll see. We'll see exactly what happens. Uh, what level am I on here? Just, just so I know. Okay, this is level eight. I may, uh, I may start that up a little bit, but we'll start to think about this as well uh, after we do the chicken farm. That shouldn't take us long. So big episode planned for next time and since we're talking about next episode uh, you guessed it that's the end of this one I've actually had a lot of fun working on on the mob farm I really enjoy doing skeleton farms uh, because of how useful they are uh, with the items arrows and bones are just they're, they're those two items that you really need a lot of over the course of a you know, long-term game, and I'm glad that we've got that. And anyone who's watching, and who's who plays on the server, you're more than welcome to come and use the use the farm. You know, I I <clears throat> excuse me. I ask that you spend a little bit of time there, fill up fill up the killing chamber, and and press the button once just to put some items back in the chest. But you know, I I don't mind if you come use it. It's that's why it's there. That's why we play together. And yada yada blah 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 blah. On that note, I'm Joshy Bear. Please make sure that if you are liking what I'm doing here, like this video or any of the videos that you're watching, please click that like button. It's a, uh, I, I, I've said it the last few up. It, it really is two seconds of your life. Just if you like it, let me know you like it by pressing that like button. Also, if uh, you like what's going on on the channel and you want to see more of it, you want to know when I'm doing more because I do have plans on doing some, uh, doing more than just uh, the the Minecraft series. I've got uh, I've got a couple others in the works. In fact, uh, they're going to be coming out here real soon. Subscribe to the channel; you'll know exactly when that's happening. You can also follow me on Twitter at Joshy Bear Plays. You'll uh, you'll see when those videos come out there as well. Also, when I'm live streaming, I do a Sunday night live stream here from the server. Uh, we've done um, UHCs uh, the last two Sunday nights, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, yeah, uh, hopefully we'll continue to do that. And hopefully, I won't die 15 minutes into the next one. So you join us there, um, twitchtv slash Uh Come check us out. Come well, come yeah, come check us out because it's usually a community event where we're streaming. And in fact, uh, last week two of us were streaming at once while while we did the UHC. So uh, it's been it's really been fun times, and uh, you don't want to miss out on that. Okay. Ah, <sighs> time to sit on the couch. Let's see if it. Let's see if it actually looks like I'm sitting on the couch. No, I don't. I didn't think so. <laughs> it looks like I'm standing on the table. I'm kind of leaned over the couch. <laughs> anyway, I'm Joshy Bear. Thanks for uh, joining me this week, and I'll see you next time.